we present Cooper. <laughs> and now, without any more ado, let's meet the man himself. Here he is, Tommy Cooper. Hello, the audience. I did the full act tonight, I won't cut anything. <laughs> well, I just received a letter from Bill Bailey and he's not coming home. <laughs> I always say, do unto others, but do it fast. <laughs> now, there's the very famous Valentine Cat. <laughs> Watch very, very closely. <laughs> Do you know what my wife smokes in bed? <laughs> she does. A friend of mine said, well, a lot of wives smoke in bed. I said, what, face down? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a surprise to my parents. I was. They found me on their doorstep. They expected a lot of milk. <laughs> My wife said to me, <laughs> do you mind if I'm like, I wear my hair in a bun? I said, I don't care if we wear a loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and she's always on a diet, my wife, always on a diet. She, she's on a diet now. Eats nothing but coconuts and bananas all day long. Coconuts and bananas. She hasn't lost any weight, but you want to see her climb trees. <laughs> They're getting better, better. <laughs> <laughs> the manager candle. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Has it been a wonderful summer? Do you know, it's amazing what people do. Somebody rang my wife and said, do you know, I saw your husband on the beach with a blonde on his arm. And my wife said, what do you expect at his age on his arm? We're back at the spade. <laughs> the very famous Chinese Lincoln rings. Un, deux, trois. Ota or wa. Wa, wa. My father used to do this trick. He was a great magician. You'll know his name in the minute I tell him. <sighs> but it was on the tip of my tongue, isn't it? Big man, he was just like me. Didn't have hair on his chest. Twigs. Un, du, tu. Aha. Ha, 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 ha. 
Now, to get them apart, that's all you do. You give a little shake, and they drop apart in front of your very eyes. <laughs> a little shake. No, it's mine. Do you want to buy it? Do you want to buy it? Yeah. How much? Two quid. <laughs> what is it? If I knew what it was, I'd charge you five quid. <laughs> And I like to do something now. <laughs> there was the king of the jungle, see? You know the king of the jungle, the lion. And one day he woke up, he had a very bad temper. And he said to himself, I've just got to outside now and teach him all who's the king of the jungle. Just to teach him. So he gets up and he goes, Ugh! <laughs> He was really mad, you know what I mean? <laughs> Always on a Thursday. And he, went, he, saw, he saw a little chimp. He said, you, who's the king of the jungle? He said, you, you, you. You're the king of the jungle. Well, that's all right, then. All right. And he walked along a bit more, and he came across a laugh, laughing hyena. And he said, hey, you laughing boy. And he went, ha, 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 <laughs> oh, you are, you are, you are. So he walked on a little bit further, and right at the very end was an elephant and a gorilla talking. <laughs> and this gorilla looked at the elephant. He said, all right, here he comes, Jumbo. He said, he's going to do that King of the Jungle bit again. He always does it. He said, I'm, I'm not going to sit around. I'm not going to stand it anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave you. So I'll be right up a tree. He said, I'll give you a trunk call later. <laughs> <laughs> ripple, ripple, ripple. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he went up to this elephant and he said, Hey, you! He said, I'm talking to you, big ears. He said, Who's the king of the jungle? He went, Woof! And this elephant got his trunk and wrapped right around him and threw him up in the air. And as he was up there coming down, he was going, who's the king of the jungle? Who's the king of the jungle? And he hit the ground, bang, and he picked him up again, threw him against the tree, threw him against the other one, then the other one, then the other one, and the other one. And he sank to the ground like that. <laughs> it made me like that, no, it was like that. <laughs> and he said to the elephant, look, there's no good getting mad just because you don't know the answer. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. And now, ladies and gentlemen, with one of her own compositions, a little thing what she just ran up herself, a little bit of reggae man. Here is the lovely Lindsay DePaul. Hey.
this, ladies and gentlemen, is a floor manager. Now, his job is to stage the performers in front of the cameras, but above all, his job is to make them feel nice and relaxed. Right, Kenny? Absolutely right. Lovely. Indeed. Thank you, David. Thank you. Quiet! <laughs> Next act, Magical Cooper, he does the impossible. Is Magical Cooper here? Magical Cooper. <laughs> Magical Cooper. Let's turn it up. <laughs> Magical Cooper. Yes. Oh, it's you. Yes. This is it, Robbie. Yes, this is what we've got. Okay, carry on. Right. A Texan walks into a bar, you see. Okay, I'll and tell him. I'll tell him. No hat. No hat? No hat. Well, it, ha it helps a joke. No, but it shadows the face. Elbow the hat. All right. OK. <laughs> What's that? So this Texan walks What's into... What's that? What's that? What's that? It's a hat. You said elbow the hat, you Yes, said. but I don't mean put your elbow in the hat, do I? God, el I mean elbow. Get rid, get rid of the hat. All tell right, the all joke. Right. Tell the joke. <laughs> Right. I'm here to help you. Right, you are then. Get on with the joke. Right. Well, this Texan walked into Dubai, you see, without a hat. <laughs> and he had a big, big nose. And when I say a big, big nose, it was a big, big nose. Hold it. Right. Hold it. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Is that in the joke? No, I said he had a big, big nose. And you said hold it. We haven't got time to ad lib, lovely. Just do the joke. Right. Just the joke. Right. All right. Yes, all right. Go. So he walked in the bar. Camera his big, one. Big nose, and he, he put his foot on the foot rail. Oh, camera two. Camera two. He put his foot. Camera three. Camera three. He put his foot on the foot rail. Hi, camera. Hi, camera. Back to one. Back to one. So he put his foot on the fo foot rail. And he's... do you know this joke or not? Yes, well, I'm trying to tell it. I know. I'm trying to tell it. You keep working all over there like that and around there like that. Just it's not. It's for you, but I don't know where I'm going like that all the time like that. How would you like to keep doing that all the don't, time? Don't like worry. Don't... <laughs> don't worry, son. It happens to them all. Just, just do the joke. You still there? Yes, right, I'm right. here. I'm here. All right, I'll do the joke. Right, do the joke. So he walked in this. Uh, Try it over here. <laughs> so the Texan. Too much what? light here, Robbie. Yes, carry on with the joke. Right, and he said to the barmaid, see? Yes. It's too much glare here, I think. Carry on with the joke, the joke. So he said to the barmaid... I can stick a lamp up here. <laughs> I can stick a lamp up here. No, he didn't say that. I didn't what say did you say it for, then? Well, I never said it before. I don't know why I said it. <laughs> stick a lamp up here. Look, look will you try it. and get it right? So, look, just keep on these marks. Yes. Don't move off the mark. Right. I'm here to help. Right. Do the joke! Oh! <laughs> well, this Texan walked into the bar, you see. And he said to the barmaid, can I stick my big nose up on your bar rail? Without moving off the mark. No, I don't know. Hold it, hold it. I've got all the pieces, I don't know what I'm talking about now. You'll have to make a cut in this joke. Well, I've got the pieces, I've got the pieces, I'm trying to get out of it. Well, just get to the end. What do you do at the end? Oh, okay. All right. I get to the end. Get to the end. I walk, I walk on. Yeah. I walk on. Yes. All right, give me time. Well, you're on. <laughs> I walk on. Did you just say cut the joke? Yes. Right, I'll cut it. I walk on, you see. And I say, oh, now I'm going to do the impossible, which has never been done on television before. Great. What's well, impossible? Trying to do this bleeding joke. I say, <laughs> camera three, camera four. And welcome back. You know, they say that when you go away on holiday, it takes two or three days to relax and unwind, right? But for a businessman, sometimes it takes even longer. In fact, one wonders when a businessman goes on holiday, does he ever stop thinking about business at all? 
Oh, look at that, son. Make me brown. Go on, make me brown. <laughs> I mean, Charlie, my brother-in-law, he's looking after the business. It's my first holiday for 25 years. So let Charlie look after the business for a change. <laughs> oh, that son. <laughs> After the business. I must be start running mad. He's an idiot. An idiot, that's what he is. Fancy me. Like, what a fool I am. I'm a fool to myself. Let him look after the business. I'm going to get back. I'm going to go home. That's all right. I'm going back. I'm going home. I'm going to get back straight away. I'm going back. <coughs> no, he's all right. <laughs> no, Charlie's all right. Of course he's all right. I'm going to draw up. He said he had phone, didn't he? There's the phone. He said he had phone. It's the phone there. He said he phoned he was in trouble. He did, didn't he? Yes, he did. <laughs> well, relax. I am. I'm going to. <laughs> so shut up, then. All right, I will shut up. I'm just going to enjoy myself. I really am. I've forgotten how to enjoy myself. That's my trouble. I've forgotten how to enjoy myself. But I'm going to enjoy myself, I'll tell you that. While I'm enjoying myself, I think I'll take a photograph of myself. <laughs> yes, do that. I will. <sighs> I think I'll play some music. C'est votre fameux et favori disque jockey qui vous parle. Aujourd'hui, la température de 38 degrés et le ciel est bleu. Attention au coup de soleil. La police nous annonce une formidable queue de voitures sur l'autoroute du Sud. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy myself, I am. And the doctor said to me, you've got to relax. That's what he said. And what else did he say? 50 pounds. That's right, that's what he said. 50 pounds. <laughs> Just to relax. I think I'll walk up and down a bit. I'll smoke this cigar at the same time. I'll walk up and down a bit. I'm determined to enjoy myself. <coughs> I think I'll read the paper as well. What's that? Mass unemployment. Famous people forced to take jobs abroad. What are they trying to do? Make me feel guilty. <laughs> look at every read this. Look. Famous people forced to seek odd jobs abroad. Look. <laughs> Don't believe all you read in the papers, mate. <laughs> Sacre bleu! <laughs> I just remember I have uh, forgotten to put the garlic in my souffle. Uh -oh. <laughs> it wasn't, was it? If I rule the world. <coughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> oh, yes, it was. <laughs> I'll take his advice. I won't read the paper. It's always bad news. I'll sit down and enjoy myself. There is a call from London, Mr. Cooper. A call from London. Oh, that's Charlie. He's in trouble. <laughs> I'll take it on here. Say, so, Char Charlie. <laughs> I was with a bit of props here. What's the matter? With you? <laughs> Hello? Charlie? You're in trouble? <laughs> no? Oh, good. I'm very pleased about that, Charlie. How's business? Great? Oh, lovely. Oh, that's fine. Another big deal yesterday? Oh, lovely. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> you don't need me home then? No? Oh, good. I can stay another week? Oh, lovely. <laughs> All right, Charlie. <laughs> I can stay another week. <laughs> <laughs> Good
morning, Tom. Hello, David. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Fez to Fez, a probing searchlight into the creative matrix of a genius. <laughs> now, Tommy, would you agree that the quintessential element of comedy is, as Bergson says, l'amour propre du maladroit? Who's this? A Chinaman. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should translate. L'amour propre du maladroit means that the funny people are those who are out of step with life. Or maybe you'd agree with Baudelaire, who says there's no value in a practical demonstration. An Indian looking for a squaw. Or could you put it another way? Yeah, I could put it another way. <laughs> Mickey Mouse looking for his other ear. <laughs> to uh, <laughs> put it another way. <laughs> to put it another way, would you would you say that there is one common ingredient in all human comedy, and would you attempt an analysis? I'll have a go, of course. <laughs> ah, good. Well, then, then we agree. We agree that risibility is incorporated in social modes, which could easily vanish. Yes, just like this boom, vanish. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, <laughs> then of course there's. Uh, there is another saying that the, that the visual element is an important ingredient in all comedy. Can yes. you recall it? Yeah, I tried to bring it back. <laughs> May I say... <laughs> Remember Fatty News? <laughs> He's still alive. <laughs> Tommy, may I say thank you very much, and may I say it's been a refreshing change to have a really intelligent conversation with you. Thank you very much. Any time you like. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Good night. Good night.